So we want the pasta salad and then this one, this egg, yes. just that. Then I think we need to get a dressing. We want sour sauce or you want the thick sauce? Thick sauce. Thick sauce. Okay, let's get the roasted sesame dressing. just fell down in there. Whoop. Whoop. Ouch. Wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Foodie Mama PH. In today's video, I'm going to show you five vending machines to try here in Singapore. Starting with the most famous Starbucks coffee, shake salad, fresh orange juice, a self-cooking ramen station, and a robot coffee barista. Let's go! Let's start the morning right with a cup of joe from a Starbucks vending machine. The very first machine opened in Bangkok, Thailand and now here in Singapore. Locals can now enjoy their favorite coffee without going to the actual cafe and it also has a cashless payment function. Here's how it works. Select your desired beverage through the touchscreen kiosk. Menu items include the usual hot and cold coffee items. And since it's hot today, I'm picking iced latte macchiato. Upon selecting your drink, you get an option to add more shots of espresso or extra syrup. Finally, pick the payment option and tap your card to finish the purchase. Choose the cup size, then place it to the machine. Add ice, cover, mix, and enjoy. All right, so it's my first time getting a Starbucks iced macchiato from a vending machine, kind of. It's fascinating because it's just within our neighborhood, just beside the guard house. And you can just grab a cup of coffee without having to come to Starbucks and just make your own. The best thing about it is it's cashless, so Starbucks iced macchiato. Mm. A good cup of coffee, refreshing, ice cold to start the day. Oh, milky. Maybe I think I should have gotten an extra shot of espresso, but it's good enough for pregnant people. If you want, you can add sugar. There's a sugar stash in there, stirrer if you need for the hot drinks. Just beside this Starbucks stall is a shake salad bendo, which is a combination of sandwich wraps and salad. So that's what we're gonna try. You want a sandwich or, or a salad? Smile. I want Coco Crunch. <laughs> There's no Coco Crunch there. Shake Salad is definitely a healthier choice for a vending machine. They have 39 locations available island-wide and every machine provides premium pre-packaged healthy food like salads, hearty bowls, sandwiches, healthy snacks, always sealed airtight to ensure freshness. So to pair with my coffee, I'm choosing the salad option. Here's how it works. Choose the type of salad, dressing, and topping you prefer. Tap your card to pay. In the cup, combine all toppings and dressings and enjoy your healthy meal. Whoa, your hard-boiled eggs! Is that your favorite? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Thank you. Right. Yay! Okay, it's time to eat. Salad, fish, and raisin gummies, and cherry tomato, and egg. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Your favorite! Mm. Next up is Kayla's favorite OJ vending machine. Conveniently located in malls, 
bus stations, and groceries, this machine makes freshly squeezed orange juice easily available anytime in an autonomous way. Just tap in your cart and wait for your drink to finish and enjoy. Perfect for any weather. For the first time in Singapore, a self-cook ramen station can be found at a 7-Eleven store. The booth has a dual cooking burner and instructional videos on how to prepare the pre-packaged Korean noodles. Here's how it works. Pick the ramen and toppings, then pay at the counter. Put the noodles and seasonings in the paper tray. Scan the barcode and place the paper tray on stove with blinking red light then press start. Stir and add toppings at 1 minute and 30 seconds and enjoy! We have just finished cooking the instant ramen. So this is the Korean yuke chang which is one of my favorites. So it's my first time trying the instant version of UK chunk. It's normally a beef noodle soup or either with rice and then some vegetables. But this one cooked from the self-cooking ramen station here at 7-Eleven Icon Village in Tanjong Pagar. So let's try. Mm. So I got three sausages. I don't know which one is which. I believe it's the ota. It really tastes like ota in a sausage form, which is really interesting. Mm. We have here a lighter brown looking sausage. Let's try. Mm. It's definitely lighter than the ota. Yum. And the last sausage, again, it's lighter brown in color. And there's some black pepper in there. Mm. This one's the pepper sausage. Wow, just the perfect doneness on the ramen. Now we're gonna try the ramen eggs. I'm not sure if the quality is the same as what you would get in ramen shops, but let's try. Mmm, look at that. So it's definitely not the uh, creamy, yolky ramen egg that you would get, but this one, obviously marinated in kind of like a soy marinade. Mm. So we came all the way here to Tanjong Pagar to try this because I think there's, this is the only first self ramen cooking station in Singapore and haven't seen any 7-Eleven branch that has the same cooking station. If you happen to be in the Tanjong Pagar area, somewhere in the CBD, if you happen to work around the area and you're craving for ramen and you want to cook it yourself, you want to have it here for a quick one hour lunch, then you can go ahead and try it here. I think they only have two selections of Korean ramyun, yuke chang, and the uh, kimchi ramyun, three types of sausages and then one ramen egg and then there's some kind of tofu skin there's a lot of different options but i'm not gonna cover the rest of the ingredients here you can go ahead and try i'll put the link of the address in the description box below so you can try all right <music> it all down all the sodium content in my body right now here's a um, nescafe cold brew cheers hmm. it's not too sweet on to the next stop Last on the list is an intriguing coffee vending machine because of its futuristic feature. Crown Coffee has announced the release of Ella, Singapore's first completely autonomous robotic barista. The Crown Coffee app is fully self-contained with its own mobile app, payment gateway, and e-wallet. Here's how it works. Scan the QR code to download the app. Enter your name, number, and OTP for verification. Choose your drink and customize. I'm picking cappuccino with caramel. Check out and wait for Ella to do her cool barista moves. And 
scan the QR code to claim your coffee. All right, so I have here robotic barista coffee made by Ella, cappuccino with vanilla and caramel. You can see the foam on top there. It looks so beautiful. It looks like it's made by a human being, but it's actually made by a robot. It's my first time buying something from a robot. So cheers. Not too bad. It's not that sweet. I love the creaminess, the foam. It's like a, I think, medium strong coffee. This is actually really good. For $5, it's a pretty good coffee. Always been here in Plaza Singapura, but I haven't seen this yet because it's quite new. Oh yeah, perfect on a rainy day to start your morning. You're gonna top out this one. They have here some covers, stirrers, and as well as tissue, which I will get. Pretty good experience. Very advanced and modern. It's a robot making your coffee. It's kind of cool. It's a good experience. Robots are a thing nowadays and you can see cafes and bars with robots making your coffee and cocktails. It's quite entertaining actually. It's really a cool experience. So if you want to try it for yourself, you can go ahead and search Plaza Singapura. It's located just beside the Dobi God station. You can take either train or bus. You will see Ella here at level 1. Cheers. What an incredible experience to try out these cool vending machines. This just shows how technology has evolved and transformed services. And that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more vending machine videos in the future, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video here in Singapore.